Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have an untubing for you. Um, this comes to us from Winnie's Picks, which is a website dedicated to paint by number. Yay! I'm so excited. So you might not know this, but I am an affiliate for Winnie's Picks and I don't know what happened to the first paint by number kit that I got from them. I've been looking all over for it and I wanted to do paint by numbers on the channel. So I decided I went ahead and I, I bought another one. So have a look at this. I love Winnie's Picks because they are like the best, the best paint by number website that I've found um, because all of their projects come in these beautiful tubes. First of all, all of their art is licensed. So here we have Manitoc Lodge, I hope I pronounced that correctly, by Anthony Day Paget. Um, I chose this one because I wanted to honor my grandfather, who's from Canada. And yeah, it's just, it's very sentimental for me. He loved lakes. He loved good and getting on the boat and just, you know, going around. And this picture reminds me of that. So yeah, I'm going to do this in memory of him. So let's get into the tube. So it's got this wonderful packaging. I absolutely adore it, like I said. It's got everything that you need in here to get started as well. So if we open it up, you'll see the canvas there. Now the tube is empty. I'm going to place it to the side. And we'll have a look. I believe it goes this way. Is it this way? No, it's this way. So, this is what the canvas looks like. Inside of here, we also have a few pieces of paper, a business card. See it here? Thank you so much for your order, they said. And there's a discount code in there. Then it tells you about the artist, Anthony Paget. Anthony loves to paint in the morning and he's most inspired by outdoors experiencing nature and sunlight. And you can check out all of his paint by number kits by going to this website right here. So that's a little bit about him. Here is our larger card that shows us the color details, just in case you get a little bit, you know, off track or if you want to touch anything up at the end so that you have a nice printed picture of it. I believe that's a loon. Beautiful. So this is a 40 by 60 centimeter painting. It comes with all of the paint and the brushes. I'll go over that in a minute. And then you've got a reference chart. So just in case you can't see the numbers in a specific area, this will help you to find what number goes on here. So sometimes the numbers can be a little blurry or maybe you accidentally painted over it and you don't remember what color it's supposed to be. Uh, then you can look on this paper, which is very clear actually. I don't know if it's showing up clear for you, but it is clear in my view. I also chose this one because it's, it's a little bit easier than the other paint by numbers that I have. The areas are a little bit wider. You know, there's a lot of, I guess in diamond painting, we would call this, um, we would call this color blocking because you've got these areas that are just large and it's, it's going to look great. So let's have a look here at the brushes that they gave us. They also gave us some hanging hardware. So if you can see these, these go onto the back of your wooden frame if you purchase a frame. I didn't get a frame with this one. And they've included the screws and the hanging trim. And then we've got four brushes, which is very nice. And these are wooden, whoops. And these are just gonna come off anyway. So the handles of these are wooden. They're a little bit, they're a little bit rough. It's kind of like when you get chopsticks uh, disposable chopsticks, but um, 
it is nice that they switched to wood instead of using the plastic because if you if you're a paint by numbers person then you probably have seen these brushes with the uh, blue plastic handles I'm glad that they're stepping away from the plastic on a close inspection it looks like these brushes like most of these brushes are really nice they're soft um, you may want to get a more precise brush this one in particular this one looks like it's very hard I don't know what's going on here but I think that if you uh, soak this in water for a little bit it should loosen up that's what I'm gonna try and see hopefully that's not glued in place but these brushes are okay but I do recommend that you get an artist set um, from a craft store because these while these are good they they aren't great for little details especially like the really thin lines here so depending on how precise you want to be with it if you're just doing this for fun and you're not too worried about it then these brushes will be just fine so those are included with the kit and let's not forget about the paint now they do send you enough paint to do the whole painting. So as you can see, we have the numbers in order. Uh, both, there's So there's only one of each color here that I can see. We've got the muted tones of all the blues and the grays. And then we've got this beautiful red. I'm, I'm assuming that's in the flag. But you can see this is a very, very muted painting. Um, I will make sure that up in the eye here, I point you in the direction of the paint by number kits that I've done in the past. The one that I did is called Misty Mountains and it was gorgeous. I had enough paint to do the whole painting, um, even though it doesn't look like a lot of paint, it actually is, and I'm pretty sure that you can contact Winnie's Picks if you run out of paint, and you can order more. But I would recommend that you start with very light layers of paint, especially in the um, lighter areas, so up in the sky. I noticed that on the last one, that I did that in the large white painted areas that you could see the number through the painting I would just recommend doing one light layer and then going back and filling over whatever uh, numbers that you can see with another coat that's that's my helpful tip <laughs> also you can um it's up to you you can decide what you want to do um, I prefer to work on these like this where they're not mounted and then mount afterwards and you don't have to mount but in my opinion it does look better if you do wrap it around um, an artist canvas or just make a small frame and stretch it across that frame um, I don't have instructions on how to do that, but I'm sure that they are available. And if I find a good resource, I will link it in the description down below. So I'm going to bring you closer so you can see some details. So as you can see, these are the flags that are flying. Um, and you can definitely tell that these areas, some of these areas are so thin. And what I recommend is that you do all of the colors that are around those very small details first, and then just come in and basically freehand it uh, because those, those small areas are very, very small. <laughs> and if you were to try and uh, paint, say, the, the flagpoles first, you might have some trouble to when you're going back with say color 15 or 14 uh, they they you might easily paint over where you were just then another thing um, that I recommend is that not only leaving the smaller details till later on but um, take your time don't paint next to 
a space that you just painted uh, because you will mix the paint unless you're going for a certain look. There are, I have seen um, YouTubers who do paint by numbers and they show you all of these different painting methods. I am not an artist, so I do not know all of the methods that you can use for blending and such to make it look almost like it was a real painting and not just a kit. But uh, if you're interested in upping your skill, definitely check out YouTube for paint by number how to's and like how to to make them even better. If you're interested in seeing um, me work on this painting, please let me know down in the comments below. I will more than likely be doing uh, a few updates with this in the future, just so you can see my progress and my experience with it. Um, but I imagine that it'll take me <laughs> quite a few months to do. Um, hopefully not too, too long because there is, you know, half of the painting is, is large areas of just, you know, background. There aren't too many big details, or sorry, there aren't too many small details for me to fill in because those take the longest for the reasons that I just explained. But yeah, I'm excited. I think it's going to look beautiful. Um, I do really like this picture. And I also really really recommend that you try Winnie's picks if you are going to get a paint by number. Now I have links down below. My links to this website are affiliate links. So if you decide to make a purchase through that link, I will get a small commission. Um, but I do appreciate anybody who is interested and wants to use those links. If not, you can just head on over to winniespicks.com. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that it helped. Uh, show you what the kit looks like and what you should expect to see in a kit from this company. If you have any questions or comments on this painting or anything like that, anything to do with Winnie's picks, please leave it down in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye!